Well, this morning's Coffee With is with William DeMeo. William, Hi, thank Denise. you for coming to Baltimore to talk to us about your film. Absolutely. Um, fascinated. John Gotti, I mean, obviously, any film that's well written, well directed, is artistic, is worth seeing. But John Gotti, other than that, why do I care? Why do I want to watch a movie about John Gotti? He was not a nice guy. Well, John Gotti's a dapper Don. And uh, I think the thing with John Gotti is that he was gangster 24 7. And either you, a lot of people really from like Howard Beach in that area kind of like idolized him. So does this movie make him out to be somebody who is heroic or somebody we should admire? No, the, the thing that I, that I really kind of like about this story is, is that it kind of shows more of his family life with his family and his, how he interacted with his children. And I mean, people just want to kind of just see gang, like gangsters killing people and shooting people and all that. they do? Why do they? Because that's society, but to, <laughs> but to be honest with you, I mean, the, the thing that's great about it, to, to me, which I like, because this story's been told before, is that there's other sides to these guys, and that's what attracted Tony Soprano to the world, because you've seen him with his family and his problems he had at home, and John Gotti, the mobsters in their world, you have problems if you cross them. And when they're home with their family, it's a completely different... You know, John Gotti was a was a very big family person with his family, and that's the, it's kind of more about the father and son whole relationship. But you play Sammy the Bull, right? Sammy the Bull Gravano, is that how I say it? Yeah, Sammy yeah. the Bull. Sammy the Bull. Now, what phrase do I use? He was the rat, he was the snitch. <laughs> what am I supposed to call Sammy the Bull? Well, you, yeah, well, the rat. I mean, that's what they, that's what everyone says. Uh, yeah, Sammy wind up being the turncoat and the final link to put John Gotti in prison for the rest of his life. When he turned, that was the final nail in the coffin that put John away. Did you, I know you grew up in the same area, did you know him? Uh, I never met Sammy personally, but he's from like right where I grew up. So I know people, obviously I know people that know him. We're all in the same, it's like from the same neighborhood. so. I uh, definitely know people that do know him, but uh, I never met him. And w did you get any pushback for playing him? Everyone asks that all the time. <laughs> well, because we're worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, look, it's a character. I, I, I'm playing a character in a movie, and I'm an actor, and that's kind of, uh, you know, a dream come true to work aside of John Travolta, and, and I'm, I'm playing a character. Uh, what people think about the character I'm playing, you know, this is what I do. I'm, I'm, I come to act, and I, I felt like I did the best that I could, and it was great to work alongside of John Travolta on a movie of this magnitude. Yeah, and it's good. You've seen it. You like it. I do like it. <laughs> I definitely do like it. And you'd tell me if you didn't. <laughs> oh well, I, I would. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. That's good. Yeah, That's good. and and well, think about this. I mean, John Travolta has played some amazing roles. And to grow up in Brooklyn and watch him in Saturday Night Fever, which was a Brooklyn character, a tough guy, kind of dancing tough guy, um, bigger than life. Uh, John take that Tony Manero character and kind of incorporated it to like a, a you know a mobster, like he played a real Brooklyn Queens tough guy. Mm -hmm. Tr John Schfult is an amazing actor, and he really, really, you could tell. And in this movie, he really brings it. And, and the thing is, mainly, is that he has uh, with the, the approval of John Gotti's family. They love what he's done. Well, that's good. Yeah. And before we go, because we, we've run out of time, you have a new series you're working on called The Neighborhood? Yes, yeah, so I have a series that's called The Neighborhood, which is we shot the first two episodes, and it's kind of like almost like John Gotti, like every week, that type of a, of a show, which is about growing up in Brooklyn in the '80s, which shows you know the whole neighborhood of Brooklyn and how it was back then, wow. and there was a big mob element in that neighborhood, obviously. Obviously, you grew up good. It must be a good neighborhood. Thank you, William. Thank, Thank you, you for coming and talking with us.